Welcome back, Beards and Dragons fans, to a new episode of the new, not new, the next Tomb Raider game. Do we need to just redo that? <laughs> nope. With me, okay. as always, is Jet. Uh, this is real live gameplay. I mess up, yeah, you no. mess up, we all mess up. We're just going to roll with true. it and make it work. <laughs> How are you good. doing today, Jet? I'm doing good. I'm ready to get into it. I am. Again, I... I Go ahead. With the, first, with the first Tomb Raider, I knew enough about it. I don't know if I had ever completely beaten it, but I think I did. With this one, I never started it. So, I have it. I have it on Epic and on my PlayStation. I just haven't gotten to it. Fair enough. I, uh... There has been a couple of games that I have been able to play with my wife watching and that she's kind of been into yeah and this is the oh, the first Tomb Raider is one of them and then so I got hooked on the series and then followed on to this I gotcha I want to play some of the old Tomb Raider games at some point I don't know if I'm going to do it on the channel or not but you gotta do the th gotta do the thing where you lock the butler in the what makes in the freezer. Oh, in the freezer, the freezer. yeah. A human experience to face the unknown. No, I I think I played about but halfway through the very first Tomb Raider, Raider and I I enjoyed it. I just got to a point where I was young enough and I didn't know what to do. So yes, and you know I played them when they kind of came out and the explorers, yeah. The seekers of truth. I wasn't. Good at it video games. Pioneers. Still no, not. Video but... games. The future of mankind. No, I get that. Them oh. old school games are hard. You're not wrong. Like the old school 3D games are the a pain. Mm -hmm. They're done. No amount of money's gonna get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there somewhere. And he just pushes That's her off slowly. I'm not turning back. I know. You should stay here with them. Not a chance. You're old and fat. You will not make it. I have decided on the next two games I'm going to do, though. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. What's that? Uh, I'm going to do Dark Siders, the first one, okay. because that's a really fun game. And I'm think it's it's a tie between either Mega Man X2 or Dark Souls. Look at that! Okay. It's amazing. I'm not sure which one. I think Dark Souls would be a lot of fun. I think you would give me a lot of crap the whole time we were playing it, and I think it'd be fun. Yes. The trail leads up the mountain. We'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. All right. Let's take it easy here. This wind is crazy. We just need to keep moving. Hey, even if we don't find anything up here, your dad would be proud. I know, but I have a good feeling about this. I would kind of like to at some point play the Uncharted games. Yeah. But they're all. I don't want to drag my PlayStation down. You okay? Oh yeah. See that? I'm fine. I would. I thought I was gonna sell my PS4. I got my PS5. Instead, I just moved my PS4 upstairs, and so I can record on it and play my PS4 games up here. Uh, it's been it's been nice. Laura, are you all right? Jonah, I'm here. I'll climb down there and get you! No! It's too dangerous! I can climb back up! Are you sure? Just stay put! It's kind of funny how the snow and ice is how Uncharted 2 also starts. <sighs> okay, I've played like 30 minutes of Uncharted 1. Um. Uh, it's on PS Plus, so. Yeah. Uncharted 1 is a great game. Uncharted 2 is fantastic. 
Like, there's not really a bad game in that series, is there? Uh... I know that, like, the newest one uh, is kind of a, was supposed to be a little bit of a stinker. Uncharted 3... I felt that they kind of focused more on the multiplayer part than the story. So the story is I forgot that there was multiplayer, yeah. But it's... That's right, they had like a team deathmatch mode, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, Looks like we gotta go through. But it's still I guess good. that was around the time that every single game had a multiplayer mode, whether they needed it or not. True. I mean Tomb Raider the now first one had a multiplayer. The weather turns we can hold up in this game. Last of Us. Yeah, did. no. Last of Us was pretty fun. I played that a bit. I played the Tomb Raider multiplayer one time. And this was like pretty soon after the game came out, and it was just like, I got into one match. Yeah. And I was never able to find people to do it with again. Oh, well, it just like the wait time was ridiculous. It was like, that's not yeah. fun. No, and like that was one thing that kept me from trying to get the Platinum on PlayStation yeah. was because like that, there's multiplayer achievements which I think should be outlawed. Should you should not time. have <laughs> multiplayer <laughs> achievements. Have like a separate have like here's a single player achievement, yes. here's the multiplayer ones. Yes. Yes. Um Call of Duty kind of does that where they kind of separate the games into multiplayer and single player. We're close yeah. to something Jonah. I but I mean, to it. be fair, with Just as last that to the with top. Call of Duty, fair, most yeah. people are playing right. it for the we'll multiplayer. They're yes. not playing it for the campaign. I mean, and there's, like, their story modes are still kind of decent. Yeah, no, like I, which one was the one I played through? Might have been Modern Warfare One. Okay. I don't remember. I played through one of them. I really enjoyed Looks it. Like we climb I'm, from here. I don't know, I'm just not a huge shooter fan, unless it's right. Doom or Wolfenstein. Yay, I died already. Good job, Joe. Huzzah. You just, you just killed two people and you're still in the tutorial. That's, that counts as two deaths. Okay. Looks like we no. from here. Yeah. You're lucky I don't know how to do a death counter. Right. Uh, you can figure it out, I believe in you. I ain't trying, I don't care. <laughs> The way that rope is swinging indicates that he's just like limp, just like he's being carried up. Oh shit! Yeah, it's, she ain't lifting that dude. I know. That's what I'm saying. It just looks funny. I got forgot my two brighter sense. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Shit! I'm going to make it. Man. Can you make it across? I can make it! Ooh. Holy shit! I don't think I can make that jump! Stay there! I'll anchor a line for you at the top! Alright, I'll give you some slack. Doesn't this much slack in the rope kind of defeat the purpose of it? Yeah. No way. There is no way that that 90 pound girl can jump nine feet straight up. Well, you forget she's like 80 pounds of that is muscle, so. Irrelevant. Jonah, we made it! <laughs> Oh god. If anything happens to Jonah, I'm going to be upset. You're probably going to be upset in this episode. No. Skill yeah. issue. I got you. Laura, can you hear me? Yeah. I'm going to pull you back up. Oh, Are you still playing Diablo 4, Annie? A little bit, yeah. 
I think I'm halfway ish. Oh wow. I, I do actually want to get the Baldur's Gate 3. I, I, I do. I've heard, I've heard a lot of people say it's really good. What happened to the rest of the crew from the first game? Never says. Really, they're just not in the game. Get to shelter. You're on your own, buddy. Lara's an awful friend. Oh, she sure is lucky that that ice was thin enough for her to break through. Yes. And it wasn't just like a solid wall that she would splat into. Dramatic music. Dun 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 dun. Joe, that was the most embarrassing thing I've seen. <laughs> Is it so? Dramatic magic. Dun 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 dun. Oh no. You can do it. I believe in you. See, Legend of Zelda would like auto jump for me. That is true. Legend of Zelda does auto jump. And Dark Souls, you just can't jump, so... Now you're dead if that happens. Oh yeah, for sure. <coughs> People don't understand that soft snow is not very soft when it hits you at that force. True. Two weeks earlier. Oh, it's one of those games, dog. She looks like a rogue in a modern day, like, D&D campaign. It is the greatest cruelty of life. The Lord Croft. Taken from it. We age, huh. we decay, we die. But what do we leave behind? Anubis. Bones? Dust? What of the soul? I've been watching Bones it lately. It's a good TV show. It is. I believe it does. Uh, a truth lies I think I watched many through myths and stories. Like six a or truth, seven not seasons. of science. Okay, something yeah. Something more profound. The key yeah, I'm almost finished with the third season. Life. I may have found. I just have it on in the background when I do stuff. So. So, but I haven't really been paying attention all that much. Uh, the search. dude from Therefore, Bones is in a show called Seal Team. Step. I've been watching I know that. Them by name now. Oh, the FBI guy? Trinity. Yeah. Yeah. An ancient violent or Angel if you've watched Buffy. The future of humanity. I have not. I must proceed carefully for the sake There's of no my thrill, family. There's no thrill, stupid. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, Who's I could Anna? never forgive myself. I guess the wife. Hey. The wife has ever been mentioned in any of the games. Lock your door, dummy. Or are you breaking into somebody's house? Oh, they should have done it where she closed it and then saw the guy in the reflection of the window behind her. Yeah. Jump scare. It's not that kind of game. Well, it should be. You gotta wait till later for the Yetis to show up. 
Help if you I just, saw the gutter you know, press was attacking your door. Like you your door. You yeah. Some company. No lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. Fake news. What's going on? So fake. I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the prophet is real. Dad was right. You know they try to make that Lara, this flat look all shabby and like um, no. awful and everything. No. It's not bad it if she would just keep it clean. Discovery, True. Like, evidence or, of the immortal you know, soul. Or you some wallpaper. I loved Richard. <laughs> it's like I don't even care. Is, this, I don't even care about that. This is like a thousand square foot but he was a broken man. studio. So I don't want to see you end up like, like him. it's it's big. He was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. The tombs in Syria. Yeah, New York that would Syria. cost you a fortune. Oh God, Laura, no. This is. Have you seen some of the like apartment uh, comp or sorted. apartment Go buildings where it's like. You know a closet. I yeah, for, like for New show. York. It's like two thousand yeah. dollars a month for a fifty square foot closet. It's like you can yeah. maybe fit a bed in here. Something I like, that may uh, be a bed. And there's a bathroom down the hall. Half full. Yeah. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. What, what you get when you let people move there? Around your city. Road. You're not you wrong. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going Doggo. to find the prophets too. So she's basically going mad. Yeah. We need to have Jeeves the butler follow her around with the clinky tray of tea. That's right. Yeah. Skirpin. Hey. We're heading into a war zone now. We better be sure about this. I know the graphics are better, but I will say up. I think this Lara Croft be no looks better than the old just Lara Croft. You're wasting your well, time. Well, yeah, she's actually like human. older now. Just keep driving. And a bit human and it's your money. like legal age. So, yeah. Well, the old Lara Croft is older. Well, yeah. No, agreed. Like, I know that. I'm talking about from the last game that we played. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, oh, this, this just looks like delicious. the reboot Lara is better than, like, the original. Oh, I 100% agree. You yeah. told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you. Her textures are glitching out. Damn, it's Shit, they weren't supposed to shoot at us. Get us out of here. Shit, shit. Oh, he dead. She dead too because she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Have you seen those videos where it's like someone <laughs> seeing this like car crash in a video game and being like, "All right, so we're gonna see how uh, if I survive this or not." It'll be like this awful crash that no one could ever survive by any means, and he's like. Nah, see, I, I was in the back, so I'm okay. And like, a car is absolutely flattened or something. He's like, yeah, no, I might, I might, I might sprain my ankle, but I think I'll be okay. They're really funny if you're the right guy doing them. She just, she died in the car crash, dislocated her shoulder afterwards, and then died again from that fall because she snapped her back or something. Oh, uh, she maybe died. not. She died. Like, fall. I mean, she definitely died from the thing, but well, that, that fall. Well, that cliff thing, like when bad. she caught herself, that would dislocate her shoulder. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And then the fall after that would probably break something. Uh, it might. I don't know. At the very least, she's got a TBI. I was going to say, like, at the very least, concussion and whiplash. Well, TBI, but... concussion, same, same. Yeah. Traumatic brain injury. It's only traumatic if you let it hurt your feelings. That is, that is that not what that word means. <laughs> but okay. I know. It was said the prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the. Oh, did I tell you that I'm taking uh, serial offenders this semester? Is that like Count Chocula or Boo Berry? Uh, no, it's going to be the Cocoa Puff guy for all the. Okay. Child trafficking things that he's probably been doing. 
No, it's, uh, like, gonna be Jeffrey Dahmer and stuff like that. So, arguably worse Something's debatable. than Count Chocula. I don't know his war crimes, though, so. Could this really be it? Oh, have you seen the Netflix movie with, uh, Zac Efron? The, the, uh, Ted Bundy movie? No, I haven't. Oh, it's so good. Like I don't have Netflix. I mean, if so. you're into like serial killer movies and stuff, but he plays Ted Bundy in it, and it's so the book. It's based on a book that's written by his ex-fiance person, and yeah. basically she was Some in a relationship kind of with him while he was killing all those people. Not quite. Okay, so it was one and of the women. While she he was didn't going, okay. know really know what he was doing, but it was all kind of like as it was coming out, and it's just like her point of view and it's it's this really good it. yeah no it's right. super interesting stuff i i need to watch that but um no i it was really weird because the teacher for this class was like we're the first person we're going to study is mm, jeffrey dahmer because he is the is least gruesome out of all the people that we're going to talk about so if you can't handle what he did then you don't need to be in the class fair enough and I was like, geez. I was like, I was trying to think of it. like who was worse than that. Ed Gein. Performing healing. I mean, yeah. I was like, I could think of uh, people, a few people like Ed Gein, maybe Ted Bundy, depending Ted on Bundy, what you um, uh, freaked out about. God, what's his name? Gacy. The, the John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the clown you know guy. what uh, Ed Gein, right? Ed Gein. That was the like Texas Chainsaw uh, Massacre. Chainsaw. Yeah. Yeah. And. Buffalo Bill, all that stuff. Yeah. Well, he, t Ed Gein was kind of like he was a grave robber, but he Seems to um, be a map of some sort. But yeah, no, he did a lot of stuff. He's also what they based Psycho off of. He led his followers through I, the desert. I don't know if the they Oasis. based Psycho off him or not, but they. I but, know Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but he like they base grave robbed Psycho a bunch of off, people and then yeah killed like one or two people because he was trying to make like a woman suit. Yeah, no, because he had an, uh, like mama issues. Uh, I think he was just he was like, just a crazy person. No, he had severe mother issues. Like there are so many, the like entrance. there's a lot of evidence showing the stuff that she did to them. Uh, there were times that she dressed him up like a girl and stuff. Like it, it was messed up. Oh. Uh, but no, there's, it's there's amazing. that, there's, who else? Only dad could have seen this. I don't know, you can get into the, like, the people that did, like, single, extremely gross stuff, but they wouldn't be in the class, so, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, Eileen Warnos is female serial killer. Yeah. I mean, if we're, it's probably going to only be a or like, you know, modern day stuff. If you go back in time, then you have stuff like Vlad the Impaler, but. Yeah. Which, what was his, what was his deal? He They're already here. was a mug or like, he, was he a, claimed to be a Muslim, but he was helping the Christians or something like that. I don't know. He's just, basically he was, um, I think it was the Ottoman Empire. Yeah. And basically he was aligned with them and then they betrayed him so he just went on a murder rampage and just impaled yeah, yeah. all of them. Yeah, no. I. What was it like? They think around 6,000 people Something were impaled like by him? Yeah. And that doesn't count all the people that he just killed normally either. So. Yes. No, I watched a documentary about him, and it was really interesting. Oh. Kind of gross, because I watched it when I was like 13, but I still remember it pretty vividly. Look at all the scorpions. A way through. Oh, apparently she said that we're going to go over some, like, fictional serial killers as well. Okay. Just because, like, they're still like the psychology of them are, is accurate and stuff like that. Hannibal Lecter. Uh, well, I think that's gonna be one of them, and uh, 
uh, guy from Saw. Um, oh, Jigsaw. Cutter? Tobin. T Damn it. Well, Tobin God. Bell's character. Yeah, um, the Jigsaw. Yeah. I don't. I don't. What's? Know if they ever named him in any of the movies. They did. He had a name. Just a second. Uh oh. John Kramer, that's it. I'm excited for the new Saw movie, dude. I, I don't know, there's not a Saw movie that I just didn't enjoy. I can objectively look at him and go like, haha, that's like a cruddy movie. Like, production-wise and stuff. But I still huh? enjoy them. Like, they're, they're fun and goofy. I kind of, the way I was was just like, the plot line from them is very similar mm -hmm. in a lot of the movies so it's like I just get bored I get that I the, the reason I don't get bored is because the, the different of traps Trinity. and everything and there is like different enough plot going on especially when you like look at it as a whole oh uh, because it's like oh you have John Kramer and then you have after that the rest of the killings are from like his apprentices <laughs> fighting for power and all this stuff and it's interesting. Uh, Spiral was different. It was okay. Uh, it had Samuel L. Jackson in it, which was kind of cool. Um, but it wasn't really a... You know, when I watch Saw, it's because I want to see some gross kills and stuff. And that one didn't yeah. really have it. Um, so I'm hoping the new one has more back-to-form stuff. They're blasting their way in. What else is coming out? There's a new Conjuring coming out, I think. The second Nun movie. Which, I don't know how excited I am for that or not. The first one was alright. That's how this works. It was fun. It was a fun movie. There were some good jump scares in it. I love the Conjuring <laughs> universe as a whole. Man. Yes. So. Yeah, the, I've... I've seen the, the Conjuring first and Insidious. Two. I've not seen the third one. The third one's actually really good. I, I think it got, like, mixed reviews, but I really enjoyed it. I've seen the uh, first Annabelle movie. It's okay. Like, I'm... Dolls don't scare me. And the demon in that one was, like, really played, like, second role, kind of. So it just wasn't great, in my opinion. But that being said, I still think Annabelle 1 has my favorite jump scare out of any horror movie. Um, when... The woman's home alone, and like across the hall, the little girl's there, and she starts running across the hall towards the door right as the door closes. And you expect Sorry. it to close and nothing happened, but we instead it like slams open and the adult woman comes running out at her. That got me. Like, that's one of the few jump scares that I can legitimately say got me when I first saw it. Got to find a way to get up higher. Maybe I can. But no, like, I saw the new Insidious movie, it was, it was good. They, it, I felt like they came out swinging, and then the last half of the movie was a bit slow. Oh, but no, it like I haven't ever seen a horror movie that I just didn't like at all. Like I, okay, take that back. Candyman, the new Candyman, was awful. I hated that movie. Have you seen Zombievers? I have not, but that sounds like a perfect movie to like watch with some friends and like make fun of it. What's your so let's talk. What's your take on Sharknado? I've only seen the first one. Uh but I enjoyed it. It was fun. like it was entertaining. I don't think that they're masterpieces like some people do, but they were fun. I mean, it's not a masterpiece, but... 
No, I mean, that's the thing though, like, a movie doesn't have to be great to be fun. There's a know? movie, and then there's a popcorn flip. Can I watch, can I eat popcorn, a bowl of popcorn, while watching this movie? If it's yeah. yes, then we're golden. Yeah. Like, not every movie has to be Lord of the Rings, you know? Yeah. Inside. There are apparently rumors that, uh, what's his name? Jackson, the guy that did the, Peter Jackson is wanting to do a Salmarillion movie. Okay. Which I, I would be down to see that. Because I've read the Salmarillion and it's really interesting and good. I would like to see a movie of it though because that would make it a lot easier to digest. I wish that the Ring of Power was better. I just didn't watch it. I heard so many negative things about it. I just didn't want it to ruin anything. I really. watched it and it's absolutely it's one of those shows that's like, I wish this was better. This should be better. Yeah. Got to raise the water. Yeah, I just didn't no, I'm, it's not worth it to me. <laughs> because I've heard that it doesn't go off of any of the books at all. Um. Like, they... Well, like, from what I've heard is that... So, they wanted to do it based off the Silmarillion, but they only got the rights to, like, the, the prologue of the book, and not the rest of it. So, everything takes place within the first, like, two pages of the book. And so, they just make up a lot of stuff, and I don't like that. I... Yeah. Respect Tolkien enough to not want people to just be making stuff well, up in his world that don't know what he wanted. They keep trying to make these like elf human love story bits, and it's like none of this is. None of that is. I mean. In... I mean, it happened in Lord of the Rings because Aragorn has elf blood. Well, Aragorn, yeah, but... Like, so it did happen. Not all the time, but it happened. Um, yeah, but, I mean, they're but, they're making things like that weren't in the book. Like, they made... No, absolutely, like, that's... The, I agree. The dwarf, yeah. they made the elf chick in Hobbit to make a love story. And then they added, yeah. like, this silliness in Ring of Power. It's like... That wasn't in the books. Yeah. Then I don't like them race swapping, like race, races. What do you mean? Like, well, I know that they had some, like, black elf and everything, which I don't have an issue with that in any yeah. other context. But when the books, like, describe the elves as, like, beings bathed in light and, like, pale skinned and all this stuff, I don't think you should have people playing that kind of stuff like the dwarves had like really dark skin characters i think that would have worked great yeah like the bunch of the like the, there's a human race have nobody cares there. yeah didn't care yeah, yeah the elf one no. was like it describes them in their skin color and stuff it does not describe any of the other ones yeah no like i just i want stuff to be consistent you know like i know i know at one point like there was a huge issue with uh, people not liking that uh, Nick Fury was black in the movies and everything. Because, like, in the very original comics, yeah, he was a white dude. But I didn't have an issue with that at all because... because Samuel L. Jackson was good. Well, Samuel L. Jackson was good, and in 2001, when they did the Ultimate Marvel series, that is when... Uh, Fury became black, and they based his like character and everything off of Jack Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. So I was like, that's perfect. I love that. I love Samuel L. Jackson as an actor. I think he's great. And again, like I have no issue with that kind of stuff happening in movies. I just want to be consistent with how it was in the books. Yeah. I'm just a nerd that way. Like if there was a character in the book that was, you know, dark skin black, I would want him to say that way in the movie. I wouldn't want a white person to you know, that might be a hot take, but 
I don't really care. And if anyone's offended by that, I'm sorry. I don't think you should be, though. I'll play this game again. No, like, I, I'm just... I'm a freak for consistency. You can jump up there, I think, yeah. And I want stuff to be the way they were meant to be. Like, there's a, uh... I don't know if it's a movie coming out or a game or something, but it's based off of the first <coughs> uh, Black Samurai, which I think is going to be awesome. I want to go see that so badly because that's such a cool story. And I'm so happy because, like, they're not... They're giving them the correct, you know, characters that they need to play. And they're not, you know... I, I always felt like when you get an actor of a different race to play a character of a different race then you are doing the actor dirty because I just feel like it's disrespectful to them like it's like oh I didn't care enough for like I didn't think you were a good enough actor to actually write your own character so we're just gonna give you this one it's empty. so that's the way I've always viewed it it's not no. a race no. thing in regards of like you know anything like that it's just I, I think people should have the respect to have characters written for themselves if they don't have characters that they want, you know? Yeah. So, tell me how you feel about Black Cleopatra. Set the charges. I haven't looked into it enough. It, and I don't know, Cleopatra, was not she, black. she no, was but she would have been, yeah, oh, she, was she Greek? Yes. I thought. She was she, Greek because she was of the Tol Ptolemaic dynasty. That's right. She was Greek she was, and then became a Jew. So it was right. like her father was Ptolemy the Third, and then she was like the Cleopatra, inside. and then her brother son was Ptolemy the yeah. Fourth. So she was of the Ptolemaic dynasty. So she was Greek. So she. That's was, right. Yeah. Open. You know, historically Careful. not black. I mean, not, not to mention the fact that the Egyptians yeah. are not black. Some they're of them from Egypt, were, from like, Africa, but they are not black people. I, I worked with Egyptians when I was deployed. Who the hell are you? And well, they were now, not black. Well, I will like say, Muhammad and Mustafa were not black I people. They were Egyptian. <laughs> they were brown. They were Muslim, but they were not black people. Yeah. And like to be fair, it does vary person to person because about. some don't you know some families have been there longer. Some people immigrated, all that stuff. So for the most part, you're right. Yeah, it's like with with Greeks, they were okay. they were dark skinned. They were dark skinned, though. but like, they, they were like, like there was no they were, and not, they, were, they were tan. They yeah. they were not African American people, and that's who you're casting as Cleopatra. With shoot that, shoot him in the face. Shoot him again. I don't really face. know enough about. I don't really know enough about it to really say much. I don't... I don't care all that much because it's not like it was a... I don't know. I, when it's... When it goes... When it's, you know, because like we just said, Greek, they were dark-skinned. So I feel like you could go either way on that and it would be okay. Like I a white person, don't... Okay. I mean, when you have a, a person who... Like, historically, there's artwork of them, and you can see that they're not yeah. that color skin person. You should yeah. not cast them as that skin person because it's Africa, and that's what African people are. Yeah. Like, you're being racist. <laughs> it's like, no, I mean, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I. For me, it's all about the mindset of the people that make those decisions. Because, like, if you make that decision out of. I genuinely think this person is going to be a better actor for that role, and I think it works. I'm, for this, the most part, okay with so that. I'm But a, I don't know enough about this one to I say that's what happened. I agree with you talking about a fictional character, but when you're yes. talking about a real historic person who has artwork and you can say this I, is I what agree. they look I, like, I agree you that. should not cast an actor that does not look like that person. I, I can agree with that. I, I agree with that. And that's where I get a little fussy. Like, the whole Little Mermaid thing. It's like, yeah. Ariel comes, like, that story yeah. comes from Norway. Norwegian people yeah. do not look like that. 
So no, they are like, about as white as you can get. Whether they describe yeah. her character or not in the book is like you can yeah. guess based on what the people of that culture look like. Yeah. This is what you're looking at. I think a lot of it also comes down to the fact that people are so quick Jonah. to Laura. make anything so like a racist you. issue. When, like, when you with you and I talking about this, we, yes. it's not that we care about the race solid. of the person. What? We want Why, who? continuity in they the characters. Like, to you know, me. like if they made a Miles Morales Spider-Man movie, I would love that. To scare me. Like, that sounds so cool. I love empty. Miles Morales. He's I one of my favorite superheroes. <laughs> But when the you was after? have, but if they had instead made a story with a black Peter Parker, I, I wouldn't have liked that as much. I think they are changing that stuff that doesn't need to be changed. Flip side, if they would make a story with a white coach. Miles Morales, I would be equally as mad. Because it's like, Miles no, I would Morales be very mad, is not yeah. white. And he shouldn't be No, he's not. No, he shouldn't. Like, and it's like it, it, that character is that way on purpose. And I love him. I love his story. It adds, I love his history. Yeah. He is. No, it adds to his character so it much. It's awesome. Like, no, I... He came out, I think he was 2001, 2002, something like that. But I love him. I He's one of my favorite heroes. There, there's that and there's a... Are you kidding me? Batman has, and someone in the Bat family is like a this like Jack Black dude with like a robotic Batman suit. It looks so cool. I love it. And I, I haven't looked into him enough because like I'm such a Nightwing fan that anytime I go down a Batman rabbit hole, it always gravitates towards Nightwing. But I don't care if it's real. I've lost too no. many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad no, so anyone to listening to this and thinking that we including you. shouldn't be talking about this stuff. Stop blaming yourself. We don't what happened. we just want races to be played by the correct races. Like I don't care no. if it's white, black, I mean, whatever. It's, if if it's, it's a fictional and there's no description, no, no, who cares? It's all I have. Don't care. No, yeah, exactly. If you state whatever no, you absolutely. want, I mean, it's but if you, if you have something where there's a description of this is what this character looks like. Right. Don't oh, change absolutely. that just to be like give people more roles. No, absolutely. I like I said. I think that's disrespectful to the actors because it just shows that the writers didn't care enough to give them a new character. Like if you would have made, you know, T'Challa a Afrikaans dude, I would no. be equally upset because T'Challa is no. not that. It's like he shouldn't no, be he, that. And again, he's such a cool character. I love him. Um, no, I, I mean it's it's super I, I sad really that uh, he had cancer. Yeah, I hate that. Um, I mean it's it's such a terrible thing. Like, that that dude was a fantastic actor. Oh, he was a he was a great actor. Yeah. No, it's it, it's very sad. I didn't realize this, but apparently the Marvel like directors and producers apparently gave him a pretty hard time after they found out about that because they were like, you should have told us this because then we wouldn't have had you be such an important character, basically. And I was like, that's messed up. Like, it's not... I mean, has anything at all about Disney as a organization the divine source is real. led you to believe We've that they are not it. colossal pieces of crap <laughs> so no I, I was just hoping that marvel like, studios was still its own thing no for the most part, disney, but, like disney and like, i know disney studios, owns it they but, are like the worst of the worst i mean yeah I've, oh my god I was, I was holding hope let's, but. let's talk about this now that you're on this it's like no. have you seen the <laughs> interviews with the girl that's playing the new snow white Yes, Holy I have. Heck, I was like, how? Like, have they? Have they not learned with Little no, like Mermaid the Mulan movie and did all the Mulan movie Jonah? and like all this other stuff is like go woke, go broke. It was like, yeah, I mean, let's make it's true. the Jonah. wokest possible version of Snow has White that we can me? possibly do, and yeah. expect it to be good. It's like when you me. have your act main character be like, she's not gonna have the prince, she's not gonna have the dwarves, she's not gonna be like this. Is like, 
It's not Snow White anymore. It's not. It's not. And like I, I think there is a fair argument to be made about all those God, like God, older up. stories and everything with the damsel in distress. Like, yeah, if you want to argue about that part, you go can, for it. You can. Then Fine. don't make a movie you know what? about make it. Make her choose to be with him, and not have him kiss her to wake her up. Whatever. Fine. Cool. Or just, or just do a do a different version and don't call it Snow White. But like, it was like, why do you think make the it clear? Is called yeah. Snow White. Yeah, her skin. His white is you snow because you know yeah. the story comes from, you know, northern Europe. And like in okay. in people's defense, Walt Disney was not a great guy. No, like he he was He's pretty racist. He was pretty <laughs> extremely anti-Semitic. Yeah. Okay. Like, he was not a great guy. He apparently was, like, really verbally abusive to the animators and all this uh, stuff. Oh, the like, family guy thing where they unfreeze him is like, are the dudes gone? Nope. Put me back in. <laughs> no, it's just so, like, he did a lot of good things. Like, yes. And okay. the content that he started was family friendly, and I respect that. As a person, he was not a great guy. Lost the and, but at the Need same time... Those stories are not inherently bad. Yes. In my opinion. Well, like, there's... A lot of those stories, like the Cinderella, Snow White, and all yeah. of them are all old European... Fresh kill. Like, yeah. Folk tales. No. Grim story tales, yeah. And... Oh, wolves again, yay. Back to camp. Yeah, no, it's... I don't know. It's one of those things where I'm I'm not going to see the new Snow White movie because it's not Snow White. Now, if they had just done their own story and made it the exact like same premise and everything of that, called it something different, it. I might even go see it. It might be a good movie. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna say but, like the girl's not a, doesn't seem like she's a bad actress or no, not at anything all. like that. But it's like. When you're taking something that is popular, that is historic, that is culturally significant, and you're just destroying it for the sake of wokeness, it's like, yeah. you know, get, take a clue. No, absolutely. It, and I'm not saying that, like, you know, you cannot have, like, different colors of people act together and stuff like that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm no, saying... No, no, no. If there's a character that's been established as something, keep it that way. Again, unless you, know you make you it want very to make clear that you are dwarves, African American actors, of the more power to you. They continue to yeah, I mean, yeah, don't change the story. The yeah. Yeah. Look at Bridgerton. Trinity has mm -hmm. That silly show. Trinity. It's like you're completely destroying history and making it that, but you're not doing it in a weird, like, wokey way. You're just, hey, yeah. we're, this is our story. It's like, you're no, not. Like, you and know, it's like, whatever, cool. More power to you. It's not my no, thing, like, but like, I don't have a problem with it. No, absolutely. And, like, to play the other side of the field, Going to need a you know, um, James Gunn took over DC, and so he said familiar. that he's wanting to do like an old enemy the, in the eye. Superman that's, oh, what's his name, like, Elijah Muhammad or something like that, and, and instead of Clark Kent, and he was, like, a established here. character, there and he was a black be. Superman, and I'm fine with that. I think that's gonna be cool. I yeah. And I know a lot of people okay. have issues with that, I'm like, don't, it's already an established character, and he was written that way, I'm I happy for that. And I'm super excited to watch that movie. But if they had gone, no, it's gonna be Clark Kent, but he's gonna be Asian. It's like, eh. I would yeah. rather it just not be messed with. It, I don't care what race it is to begin with. Like, keep it that way. And, you know, I, I, I don't know. I think people think get like too the human offended version and upset by that. The, what is it? The oh, Martian that's cool. Manhunter was mm -hmm. a black yeah. guy? Yeah, he was. Uh, and it was like, nobody cares well, about that. He was, yeah, I think he usually used a black dude, but he could change into anything he wanted, though, couldn't he? Like, I it wasn't think so, but I think that's the thing. form that he took. Yeah, yeah. No, and like, uh, 
in the Flash TV show, you know, they had Wally West in there. I don't know if you watched that show much. And, again, people were getting really mad about Wally in that show not being a white guy. And I'm like, in the comics, I'm pretty sure before that, he had already, like, stopped being white a while back. And in that situation, I don't care that much because, like, it was someone... It wasn't, like... Barry Allen the Flash. It was someone taking up the mantle for the Flash. Yeah. And I don't really care like that. I, like, if it's not a main character, I don't care that much. And, because I think, you know, they can be, like, secondary characters can be changed around to add new, like, you know, new flavor to the show, new content, whatever. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. No, it's, it's mainly just main characters that I want to stay the same. Yeah, I mean, if it's established. It's like, if it's literary that has never been posted whatever is like yeah have you seen i'm sure you have have you seen mario brothers i haven't yet actually you should i i know i keep meaning to and i forget (laughs) it's the greatest thing about that movie is that there is nothing in there that's political woke weird really nothing that's good None of it. It's all yeah. like old school classic Mario story. Yeah. That's good. And and like I love it because there's there's tons of like Easter eggs and junk of like old Mario games and movies and Nintendo stuff. Yeah. It's got all like the music, the game, like background stuff. Yeah. It's like it's great. I love that movie. Yeah. No. And like. So, this is the last thing, because I think, yeah, we've been going for a while. 53 but, minutes, um, yes. <laughs> and we're at a safe point. <laughs> yeah. So, last thing, but, um, you know, like, when you make a movie, don't bring your politics into it unless that is, like, a point for the movie. Yes. Like, you know, with Star Wars, a lot of people didn't know that it had, like, political anti-war stuff going on in the background. So, like, if you went looking for that, you'd see it. I mean, there, that movie, the movie Us, that came out a couple of years ago, was one a, of my favorite movies. It was pretty political, but it was one of my favorite movies. There's a it. lot of, like, Soviet under Nazi undertones in Star Wars with the Empire. And they learned called them stormtroopers. And, yeah. You like, know, <laughs> it's one of those things. It's like, yes, that's that's a thing, and that's. I think it's important for movies to showcase, like, the evils of our history, because if we forget them, we're going to repeat them. Exactly. No, I agree. You know, if you're doing it in the right way, it's fine. But if you're just shoehorning, like, hey, we're going to make this movie all about this race of people because we imagine that they're, you know like harmed against in public it's like that's not what people want to see and look at the popular yeah. movies of the last few years it's like mario brothers has sold a ton of money no top gun sold a ton of got a, a ton of money top, top gun was good top, top gun, gun got a kind of ton of movies like those movies that like stay away from the wokey politics stuff sell a I ton guess, of tickets and like cause people well, I guess don't want to see that and those movies I guess the thing is like sorry I was like Black Mer- The Little Mermaid the, like those movies mm-hmm. like don't lose money for their studios it's yeah no like last thing if you're gonna make a movie and have politics in it don't be biased with the way that you lean don't force one side down the throat yep. because you're alienating practically half the people that watch your movie and that's just not what you want you want stuff that like even if you strongly believe one direction you can still have that like that political part in the movie but don't push people towards what you want them to think that's when you get into manipulation that's when you get into like brain brainwashing stuff it's uh, let people make their own decisions well and, and know your audience too because if if your no, audience absolutely. is not into that they're not gonna go see it no absolutely and you know we'll we'll stop here but next time if we record another episode i don't know tonight um i have 
you know, I can talk about the Star Wars stuff just for a long time on, like, how political stuff ruined that franchise. Oh, so. yeah, we can talk about Disney for a long Like, Star Wars and Disney for a long time. No, absolutely. <laughs> Don't, get yeah, everyone... soapbox, <laughs> Don't get me on a soapbox, Jet. Don't get me on a soapbox. Thank you all so much for watching, though. Um, yes. This was, this was a bit more podcasty than usual, which I'm okay with. Uh, that was, <clears throat> you know, my vision for this channel has always been like a podcast with gaming in the background not saying there's not going to be a podcast in the future but there might be a podcast in the future there might be you never know who knows but yeah no thank you all so much for watching thank you for the continued support we've since we've been uploading again our videos have started getting more views again so that's good have they huzzah Uh, I a few it. more. We're, we're still going to have to work our way back up because we, we were at the point where we were getting, you know, like 30, 40 views a video, which for our size, not bad. Mm-hmm. And then we stopped uploading for a while and that we're, yeah. you know, we're back. We were like down to like two or three views a video. So we're going to have to work the, our way back up, but we got this. Um, oh, yeah. But no, thank you all so much. It means a lot to us. Till next and time. And <laughs> goodbye, everyone. Bye.